quick video, how do you find the domain of square root functions? Well, we know for real numbers, if it's a square root or any even root, any even radical, you can't take the square root of a negative. So whatever's inside here cannot be negative. In other words, for this function to be defined, the inside bit has to be positive or at least zero. So to find the domain, we take the inside, we set it greater than or equal to zero, and we just solve this inequality. So I can just subtract four from both sides here. And then to get x all by itself, we can just divide by two. And so it looks like the domain is x greater than or equal to negative two. If you wanna write that in interval notation, you would write that as bracket negative two because it's greater than or equal to, and then it's all the numbers greater than that. So we'll go off to positive infinity parentheses. This is the domain of this function.